so many nights of bringing you the news here on Q2. This will be my last. After much thought, it's time. I still feel like I just graduated from the University of Montana School of Journalism and started my first news job less than a month later on Q2's daybreak. I was only supposed to be here for two to three years, but I fell in love with the Billings boy, my Q2 family, a community, and you, our dedicated viewers. This was a heart-wrenching decision literally just reached in the last couple weeks. I'd like to thank my Q2 colleagues and friends who've helped me grow and who grew up with me inside and outside the Q2 newsroom and studio. The good days and the not so good days. I've learned so much from each and every one of you. Thanks to my family and friends, all of you who loved me, supported me, and texted me on set to tell me there was a box elder bug on my sweater or what dresses I should never wear again. Thank you to our viewers. Thank you for welcoming, welcoming me into, and my team into your home every night at 5.30 and 10 over this last decade. Thank you for allowing us to bring you the day's news, the breaking details, and the stories that impacted your lives. And finally, for those of you who allowed me to tell your stories, personal, difficult, inspiring, and even life-changing, you helped me grow communicate, inform, and educate others across our community, state, and sometimes even beyond. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Janelle Slade. And I'm Jay Cohn. Well, the tumultuous life of Barry Beach, once again, our top story tonight. I'm Janelle Slade, along with Scott Breen, and Jason Laird is in for Bob McGuire tonight. We are here to celebrate a 100-year birthday for Stillwater County. There is an app for everything. So if you're looking for a way to keep tabs on your significant other, there's also an app for that. Q2's Angela Douglas is standing by with a ticket check. And Angela, I hear that you're about to dump a bunch of tickets into a bathtub. Are you focused at work? Are you talking to me? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, Arisa, that's, your point exactly, <laughs> that's right? my point. The Montana Women's Run, Saturday, May 11th. Sign up today and get moving. <laughs> and as you can see, we have come a long way over the last 60 years. On November 9th, 1953, Cook TV signed on the air as the first television station in Billings. 20 years later, in 1973, I was three. <laughs> Q2's Victoria Fragoso joins us now with details. Victoria. Q2's Asia Gore is live at the scene of the fire right now where crews are mopping up tonight. Asia. That's right, Jay. I was fortunate enough to spend some time here at the Nile with a woman who has traveled the world, changing the bond between horses and humans. Are you tough enough? Tough enough to wear pink? Is your phone coded? No. On a daily basis, Janelle, my biggest challenge is just finding my phone. Like today, I left it at work. But Well, the Montana Millionaire numbers are in, and Jay and I are going to keep working. Eleven months ago, I did not think this is the story I would be telling you today. Hold it. Dave has just received his second dose, 8 million beads of radiation, to eliminate more of the tumor. Can't watch us at home? Take us with you. With the live streaming news app, you can take Q2 with you anywhere you go. Different directions, no question Different about directions. opposites, right? Yes. Grizz getting down to business uh, with their final scrimmage. They and the play. cats. Cats working on a little hair day. Hmm. Uh huh. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll explain coming up next. <laughs> when they turn on the TV every day at 5:30 they know we are doing our very best to bring them what's going on in their community, in their region, across the state. We only have one chance to get it right. Because the fundamentals of journalism are highly important to us. Every day when I leave Q2, I know that we're trusted. Welcome back, everyone, to Turkey Tuesday 2017. 744. Four, yeah. We just added another one. Right. Turkeys collected in one day. Do you think cops are too quick to pull the trigger? We'll examine their policies and take you inside their training to learn more about their life or death decisions. Q2's Dustin Kleeman is live at the airport tonight to bring us more details on those plans and what it means for our local pocketbooks. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Russ Riesinger. And I'm Janelle Slade. So we have very little time to get out of Dodge, Bob. Now we can joke about this as much as we want, but this incoming storm is big and people need to listen so they know what's in store. Yeah, this is going to be a serious storm. Q2's Andrea Lutz standing by live near MSU Billings. Andrea, how are things out there? 
We now bring in Chief Meteorologist Ed McIntosh. Pretty calm here right now, but not so much across the country. Pick a spot. We got something to talk about, wow. Janelle. Let's go ahead and take a look. Well, we're now in the emergency department where 14 of the 36 beds are full of patients waiting for other rooms in the hospital. As you can see, high winds, dry fuel, and a spark quickly devoured more than a thousand acres in the West Rosebud. It's about telling stories. It's about giving information. It's about helping people. People need to be informed. I couldn't imagine not doing this job. Watch Janelle Slade weekdays at 5.30 and 10 only on Q2.